few companies have navigated supply chain snafus as well as retail giant Walmart. Its deep pockets allowed it to do things like charter its own ships. But at the heart of its strategy is a cutting-edge solution made in Canada. Due to the virtue of what the way we have designed, Walmart never stopped. So we were part of the essential services. Toronto-based DLT Labs helped Walmart Canada implement and manage its massive supply chain invoice and payment platform. Using blockchain, the technology that underpins cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, think of this digital ledger as a way to automate transactions and data points using GPS and the Internet of Things to track everything, from shipping routes and delays to truck refrigeration temperatures for food, and keep it securely on one platform. It was up and running just days before the pandemic shut the world down. The timing was perfect because, of course, supply chains ended up being horrendously stressed. Supply chain experts say blockchain technology's high cost means it's not the right solution for every business. I wouldn't say it's, a, it's adaptable to just everybody as of yet, but it's definitely an emerging technology that we're keeping our eye closely on. One homegrown solution that's emerged during COVID is a shift to local producers, which lessens dependence on supply chains. We're finding that one of the best things we can do is uh, because of the high cost of freight, and because of the instability and strong delays in the supply chain is to find as many great manufacturers in Canada and the United States as we can. Canadian manufacturing climbed to a seven month high in October, though it remains to be seen if this is a lasting trend or a flash in the pan. We have right now something like 12 containers that are caught between Vancouver, the mudslides and our customers. You have to find other alternatives. Perhaps the most important lesson learned from the supply chain chaos is that having a plan B and C is no longer optional. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.